Uh, Sheikh, there are three concerns regarding uh, the issue of fatwa. Mm -hmm. The first one is that uh, you would find a group of people who just go to the internet, for example, they go to Google, they just type in their question and get and get uh, an answer yes. from an, an, an anonymous uh, website or a person. Mm. This is the first group. The second group, the second group, is that people who who have the knowledge, okay, but when you come and uh, ask them for a, a question, although they would know the the ruling, they would say no. I would prefer that you go back to a scholar mm. to get an answer mm. and the third uh, group is the people who read from scholars read fatwas from scholars and the common man that comes to you and asks you about uh, a particular matter uh, should you give them uh, you know the, the the ruling because you read it uh, somewhere or should you always refer to to scholars well believe me these are uh, i mean very important questions but each of them uh, needs uh, uh, the whole right. session. <laughs> yes. uh, but I mean, let me uh, brief you and brief our audience on this matter. Uh, what I've been talking about is just the first condition, that is uh, knowledge and capability of issuing fatwa and practicing ijtihad. Mm. Um, and I, I, I concluded that it is yes, it is the uh, the responsibility of both the uh, person who is claiming that he is uh, able to issue fatwas. Yeah. Uh, and the responsibility of the receptions, the, the audience, the uh, receiving the fatwas. Receiving the fatwas. Mm. Um, because it's like any other field, once I mean, they cannot consult uh, just any person that they meet in the road in the, in, or they found in the internet on medical issues. Yes. They have to read the CV of that particular uh, doctor who is claiming that he is a capable doctor. Um, they have to ask about him. They have to compare also what sort of articles and um, knowledge that he is producing uh, in order to uh, at least evaluate and know what uh, status can they give to that particular doctor. And uh, the same thing, I mean, with other fields. Uh, I mean, they cannot ask about, I mean, um, let's say uh, physics, a person who is not specialized. So how can they distinguish that this is, this is a physician, this is a qualified physician? Yes. Uh, by the same ways also nowadays, and there are uh, easily um, accessible uh, ways to find out about scholars, their status, their um, arguments that they are raising. Um, so this is the first step. The other thing is that um, why that the because not every scholar can be um, quoted yes and yeah. this is one of the uh, main um, issues that we have uh, to treat actually um, all scholars from all schools of thought mm. they insist that knowledge is a trust and uh, credibility yes so a scholar who is issuing fatwa must be an implementing scholar. He is just pretending to issue fatwa, but he is, his actions and deeds are against what he is calling for. Uh, then he is not a trustworthy of issuing fatwa and be followed by uh, the uh, mass. Although he might be a scholar. Although he might have the uh, knowledge. Mm. Yet if he is not implementing himself, he is not a righteous person then he is not entitled to be imitated, to be followed, and his uh, fatwas to be followed by Muslims, mm. uh, because he himself is not a righteous person. Uh, so righteousness is very important. Im implementing the knowledge that he has um, in the society, mm. he, ha he must be a good example in his society. Uh, because as I said, he is representing Islam, he is representing uh, the religion and the knowledge of Islam, then if he is not an implementing scholar, if he is not a righteous scholar, then he has no right to be followed by Muslims. He has no right to uh, be quoted even uh, by Muslims, except for the purpose of research techniques for, I mean, uh, just a purely um, uh, research uh, purposes mm. um, then we might still I mean conclude that we have different opinions of scholars yes now the general ruling is that 
um, if I mean even even um, most uh, thank God that most m most Muslims they can distinguish between um, how strong the fatwa is uh, from the evidence quoted in that fatwa uh, if there are a set of evidence from the Quran from the Sunnah and the scholar is well known well respected in the society so this is the scholar uh, that uh, is uh, I mean his opinion should be adapted and quoted mm. uh, then uh, if uh, they are equal in this regard um, and we hope I mean we, we wish that we have scholars uh, with these qualifications and this ability and this uh, also righteousness in, in our society uh, many of them um, uh, with um, different opinions then this is a healthy situation because in this case um, there is no harm to follow any of them mm. even if they have different opinions there is no harm in following uh, either of them if all these conditions are observed 